Martinez had tied that game. What a great game that was, and it just kept them rolling. Of course, they had the 15-game win streak that ended at New Mexico, but a lot of streaks end in New Mexico. Tough place to right. play. So we are underway here, and the usual starting five. Danny Sprinkle seems to have kind of settled into a lineup. Oh, a doozy! Straight to the rack. Osibor still on the bench. Martinez, a contested three, and he doesn't mind. And there's the turnover. And here comes Brown with the finish. And they're having more control over the offensive end. Oh, big block met at the rim. And here come the Aggies. Martinez. That's, that's when this place really gets hopping. Martinez, three, got it. Coach Morrill, well-deserved. Coming up uh, on February 10th, Boise State, as the shot is up and in, and Osibor is having his way. Still to play, Utah State still has to play all three of those teams, although a couple of those are here in Logan coming up, and Osibor again. Darius Brown leads the team. And Falsa, the two guards, each have eight rebounds. And right to the rack. There goes Josh Aduja. That's bizarre. Well, I think as that three-pointer is banked in by Martinez. Well, Osibor with 31 points, 13 of 19 from the free throw line. So 13, here he goes. Oh, oh. what a pass. What a pass. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Brown for three, got it. Trell Davis, did Brown get that rebound? Yes. And he's at a double-double. Yep, 11 points, 10 rebounds. And a three on the way, and give him Ian Martinez three more. He's now got 16 points. Again, Osborne just owned the free throw line tonight. Yeah, well, the Aggies had contributors, whether it was points or rebounds or assists. They had guys step up all over the floor, and that's what they've done night in and night out, just be able to have guys do the sm small little things that really help this team be successful. So the Aggies get to 19-2 and two on the season. They're ranked 17th in the nation.